Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another Unity lesson. We're going to teach you a little bit more stuff today to do with displaying messages on the screen and changing the message as we uh, trigger an event in the game. So let's firstly start off by displaying a message. So in your list of objects in your hierarchy, I'm going to right click in the blank space and click on UI user interface and then choose text. And you can see as soon as you do that, it's created a few um, objects. And the only thing we need to understand right now is the canvas object and the text object. So if you click on the canvas, you will see that it's this huge rectangle hovering in the air and you have no idea what it's doing but it basically represents the overlay on your game. So as you're playing the game, this rectangle is always going to be on your screen, which is why it's sort of separate to your level. So if you click on your player or your cube, you'll get to the level again. But if you click on the canvas, double click on the canvas, you'll see this huge rectangle, which represents a uh, rectangle that's projected on your level when you're playing the game all the time. So inside this canvas we've got text and right now it's at the bottom of your canvas. So you can simply move this around wherever you want and you can see that as you move it towards the center it's popping up in the middle of your level which is great. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset the position of the text so that it's right in the middle. And I'm going to type something here. I'm going to say something like, touch the red box. And because it's red, I'm going to change the color of the text so um, I can change the color here to red and I'm going to also make it a bit thicker and make it a bit bigger and so on. Touch a red box and notice how um, it's sort of wrapped lines a bit. So if you don't want it to do that then um, overflow so that's what you want to do um, you can change the width and the height so you, if you had it wrapped you can also change the width of it so that it won't wrap okay so it's just one line touch the red box so when you play the game you will see that it says touch the red box Okay, a message in the middle of your level. Okay, but there is no red box. So let's press escape. Undo the play button. And then back into our project, we need to create a red material. So let's right click and let's create a folder first because we're finding that we have more than one material so it's easy to organize things into folders when you've got more than one of the same type. So let's right click inside this materials folder and click create and let's create a new material and just choose the color red. Okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a red box on my level so go back to your cubes so I'm just gonna make one of the cubes red so let's click on this cube and let's make it red by just dragging the red color onto it so when I play the game and you can see that I'm looking around 
for the red box. Here's a red box. I touch it. Nothing happens. I want this message to go away when I touch the red box. So what's going to happen is that I'm going to click on the red box. Okay, and I'm going to turn on is trigger. Okay, and by turning this on, what happens is when something touches me or touches the box collider on this box, I'm going to trigger an event and I can run some code uh, when that event is triggered. So I've turned that on. So now in the code for my player, so click on my player again and I'm going to edit the script which tells me what instructions to run. So I'm going to insert a new function. So just before the last brace in your code, create a bit of space and type in void on trigger enter. And you can see that the code hints has picked it up. So I can just press enter and it generates all this code. And basically what it does is it, um, it basically says when the trigger um, is run. So when you touch another collider with the trigger, um, this function is going to be called. So what am I going to do? I'm going to get the text that I previously added. So go back to the game. And this is the text that I have added previously. So I'm going to rename that text as red box text, or I'm just going to say instruction text. Okay, and I'm going to get this text. So let's create a new variable called public um, public text and notice that it's underlined which means that it doesn't recognize the text object so I need to import it at the start by typing in using unity engine dot UI user interface and this imports all the objects that I can use in my um, game so all the UI objects so I'm creating a text uh, variable and let's just call it instructions instruction okay so let's save that and you can see back in the game if you go to your player object so double click on your player object, you can see that a new object has shown up called instruction. A new variable has shown up. And what I'm going to do is drag the instruction text from the canvas to this instruction variable. And that will allocate the text from my canvas, this particular text box, to this variable that I've created. So that when I refer to the word instruction in my code, I can now do things with my code. So I can change the text on the screen. So let's go instruction, okay, which is the name of the variable. Now, because it's a text variable, if I want to edit, the, if I want to edit the text, I can just put in dot text. So the text variable, the text property of the instruction variable, is equal to uh, you have touched the red box. Congrats. Okay, so let's save that, refresh the game, play the game. So it now says, touch the red box, 
Okay, so where's the red box over here? Let's touch it. You have touched the red box, congrats. Okay, but the red box is still there, which is um, not very helpful. And there are a few issues that we need to fix as well, because um, if I had another trigger, so I will show you what I mean. So let's press escape, get rid of the play button. So if I have another box, um, so let's go to the floor again. And if I have another box that's not red, so let's give this a material that is yellow. So let's call this the yellow box. Okay, and let's move that to the yellow box. And if I turn that box, so I'm going to rename it as well. That's the red box. And that's the yellow box. So if I go to the yellow box and I turn it into a trigger as well. Um, okay, so what happens is if I play the game, it says touch a red box. And instead of touching the red box, I touch the yellow box. And it still says you've touched a red box. So there are some problems here which we are going to show you how to fix in the next lesson. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.